Ukraine hit three Russian munitions depots within four days over the past week with the domestically produced weapons. The attacks are widely seen as Kyiv, demonstrating its ability to strike targets deep into Russia and therefore calling on its Western allies to lift their missile use restrictions and also exposing Moscow's red lines. Here is the timeline. On the 18th of September, Ukraine attacked the depot in Toropets, Tver region. Estonian Defense Forces Intelligence Center stated that the strike caused 30,000 tons of munitions to explode, noting that the size of the explosion equates to 750,000 artillery shells. All in all, that means that the attacks destroyed enough Russian munitions to affect Russian operations in the coming months. Then, a few days later, Kyiv hit the depot in Oktyabrsky, about 16 kilometers south of Toropets, and at Tikharetsk in Krasnodar region. The Ukrainian general staff reported that the Tikharetsk arsenal contained at least 2,000 tons of munitions, including munitions from North Korea, at the time of the strike. Kyiv claims it is one of the three largest ammunition depots in Russia and one of the key storage facilities in the Russian military logistics systems. The U.S.-based think tank, the Center for Strategic and International Studies, said in February this year that Tikhoretsk was one of a number of Russian ammunition sites that had been expanded to store munitions closer to the front lines. The Institute for the Study of War says that continued Ukrainian strikes against rear Russian logistics facilities within Russia will generate wider operational pressures on the Russian military, including forcing Moscow to reorganize and disperse support and logistic systems within Russia to mitigate the impact of such strikes.